So there's a before shot of the Toyota Tercel brakes. The uh, pads are getting thin, but besides the point, the uh, brakes were seized up as this vehicle's been sitting for five years. But the car was sitting on asphalt, so it's stored not too bad. So I found this car, gonna get it ready for the road under the new 2016 rules and regulations for getting a vehicle on the road. So we'll see how that goes. And just as a reference, that's the uh, adjuster on the back. That little nub comes through. So a little different design on Toyota's part, but it does the job. Gave it a quick spray down with some degreaser and uh, wiped it down with a rag. Got my new wheel cylinder in. You can see all the chunks out of the brake shoe, but that's all right, not a whole lot of meat left. And in a Napa spring kit set, whatever you want to call it, to give you that clip. But the next one, for that, they don't give you a clip, so just so you know, if you live out far away from a store or whatnot, like I do, I try to prepare for everything. And out of there, I'll have one that I need. So that piece there, there's that little nub. When you put it together, just goes like so. And then that's for your adjuster on your brakes. And then there's a spring on there. This is the back side of the shoe, so you don't see that once you put it together. Put a little bit of anti-seize in there. And for bolt size for the wheel cylinders, that size there is too long. I just happen to have some kicking around that were shorter and they work. Those are the correct size of bolt, half inch of threads. So when you're uh, doing your wheel cylinder, so you know. So there you go. That just goes into there like so. So that just goes in there like so. And for your brake shoes, you just put them in up at there, at the wheel cylinder. So then just to go over, I put some anti-seize in there, a little bit of anti-seize in there. This piece here just kind of spins freely on the left of this piece right here below my thumb. It's, that just kind of goes there. And then these in behind I can just use one of my fingers and then put use my thumb basically and just push these on I got fairly big hands so so my camera died but anyways that cable just hooks onto there so I just pulled that spring back hooked it on then hook that on and then now I'll do this spring that goes from this side to the other side Found that work not bad. So I got that spring hooked up there. And now I'll put it back there. The shoe, that is. There's little notches there. And then it just sits in the on the shoe there, like so. So then I put that one in. That one in there. And then just kind of there, lock it into place. And you want the one down from that and then on this corner you want two down and then it'll look like that and then yeah I just put that socket up there to hold it so it wasn't shifting around on me and now with that in it's good and tight and now I just test fitted the uh, drum on it fits on good nice and snug and now I'm ready to uh, finish it up. So that looks like that. There you go. So then I just re-grease the uh, bearings. Get that washer there. That groove. 
into that notch piece there, like so. Then for the nut, get it torqued down the factory specs. So after you get it torqued down the factory specs, then you get that little special cap on. Yeah, that cotter pin's a bit longer than we need be, but that's okay. This car's got to get tore down again for a safety. And that cotter pin's going to get replaced. There you go. If you got a rubber mallet, that works even better. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Cheers.